Making money like a mint Laying in my ice like shrimp Mint condition that I'm in Coming with the freshness Today I'm going to be working on one of my last drawers in the van And it's this one right here It'll be for my sink cabinet and I thought it might be helpful if I do a quick video on how I created all my drawers since I skipped over this part when I did all of my uh, kitchen cabinet drawers. So this is the end result. This is what it'll look like. Um, again, they're made out of half inch birch and I'm doing pocket joints. So if we take a look here, I'm using these center line push to open drawers and they are a half inch but each of them are half inch. And so what you need to do is take into account not only the drawer slides, but also the thickness of your wood, since we will be placing the fronts and the backs on the inside of the wood. Now I chose to do it this way because your force when you're pulling out is pulling against the screws rather than if you did this joint the opposite way where you had your pocket screws going up into the front of your wood, you're gonna be pulling on that screw every time you open the drawer. So this is definitely way stronger, still not a professional version of a drawer, but it's quick and pretty painless. So if we go back here, I've measured from here to here, and with the drawer slides like this, we're at nine and 15 sixteenths. So we need to take an inch off of that since I'm using half inch. So my front and my back will be eight and 15 sixteenths of an inch. And then from front to back, I'm doing 19 and three quarters since I have 20 inch slides. And then this is a pretty shallow um, drawer. So I'm gonna just do like three inches. Um, so I think that covers all of the measurements that I need to take. Um, maybe just one other thing to point out. I did face frames for all my drawers, so you do end up with like this gap, so that if I move this stuff and I just tried to put the drawer slide here, obviously it's not gonna work. So you have to have some sort of spacer to get your drawer slide out. I just took a piece of three quarter inch plywood, and that's enough for me to get on the outside of my face frame and then get my drawer slide to the front. So let's start ripping this wood and then we'll throw this drawer together. So I have all my pieces cut for my drawer. The next thing I need to do is cut this groove in every single piece so that I can get a piece of quarter inch in and use it as the bottom of my drawer. So if you look underneath, you can see it's inset a little bit. So what I like to do is just go up a quarter inch and then I do a quarter inch groove um, and then it'll fit in nicely and we'll get that piece of quarter inch I would then cut last. But we're gonna set up the table saw to do these these little cuts. And I don't have a nice table saw. I don't have like cool dado blades or anything like that. Um, but I'm just kind of showing you that all this stuff is very possible with a piece of crap table saw. That's gross.
Here's the drawer inside of the drawer box. And it looks like it's fitting really nice. So I like to do this first, make sure that there's like a little bit of room so that it's not too tight on the drawer slides. Um, but yeah, looks like we've got just enough spacing on both sides. And so what I'm gonna do now is put pocket holes just in the front and the back pieces. We'll get that ready to go and then we'll measure this out and get our piece of quarter inch cut out that we're gonna use as our bottom. And here's the final product, nice and simple. Hope that helps, see you next time. Yep.